So here we are with uh, the law of sines. Um, you've just finished up, you know, previously doing trigonometry with right triangles. Uh, law of sines and law of cosines are with what we call oblique triangles. They do not have a right angle. You cannot use the Pythagorean theorem anymore. And you have to use these ratios to solve for what's missing. So uh, I, what I want to do is just to kind of, uh, there's plenty of videos uh, in this section, but I want to just give you a little practice on using the formulas themselves, okay? Um, differentiating between sides and angles. Sides have small lowercase letters. Angles are capital letters. C's are tough because C's look the same. Um that's just unfortunate, but the lowercase c hopefully looks smaller to you than the uppercase c. So you always have to have at least one side and the angle opposite that side to use the law of sines. So in this case, I have angle A, I have side B, I have side A. So I do have angle and side opposite here. So if I want to find angle B, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use A over sine A is B over sine B. So we use these proportions, these ratios, to solve. Now, you have to use sine of the angle. Uh, oftentimes I see students and they'll just put like 81 here. Well, that's not the way the formula works. It's sine of 81. It's kind of like if you needed to take the square root of 81, you just wouldn't put 81 there. You take the square root of 81. So sine is a function on your calculator. So substitute in whoops, the values. 12 over sine 81 is 9 over sine B. Now, what I try to get my students to do, um, I try to uh, show them shortcut ways of, of calculating things. So when we do proportions, we can cross multiply. Okay. So if you think about the process here, I'm going to take 9 times the sine of 81, hit equals, and set that equal to 12 times the sine of B. And then to get sine of B by itself, I'm going to divide by 12. So what I try to get my students to do in class is to take 9 times sine 81, hit equals, then divide by 12. Try to do it all, you know, without having to write out quite so many steps. Okay? So what I want you to do is, if you don't have your calculator, get it. Um, pause the video. Okay, and then see what you come up with. So I'm going to take, and it depends on your calculator too. Everyone's calculator is different. So if I do all that in one step, sine 81 times 9, hit equals, then divided by 12, I get 0 0.7408 equals sine B. Okay, so again, practice that till you get that 0 0.7408. If you didn't get it the first time, try it again. Then the one last step, since we're finding the angle, we do sine inverse 0 0.7408. And again, carry it out to four decimal places. It makes it more accurate. And I get like 47.8 degrees. Okay. So, you know, that's what I do try to do with my students. You know, I mean, you can certainly do this the long way. I mean, carry out steps, you know, uh, 12 times sine B is 9 times sine 81. Okay. Um, 12 times sine B 
and then figure out what 8.889 and then sine B is 8.8891 divided by 12 and then sine B is 0 0.7408 okay um, you can certainly do it that way this it just kind of you know makes things a little quicker and you don't have to do that obviously but you know you get good at these things it's not quite so intimidating okay uh, so you can do that whether you're finding an angle or a side uh, the difference is when you're finding the angle after you do the multiplying and dividing you've got one more step to actually get the angle measure if you're just finding a missing side that's the only step you got to do okay because you're going to be multiplying and dividing and then it's just going to be equal to a b or c all right so that's kind of what i wanted to do here just a little brief explanation um maybe you know a helpful hint on calculations uh because sometimes calculators are great but we don't always know how to use them properly so maybe this will uh you know give you a shed a little light here or give you some uh, help with that so that is it make sure you watch the other videos uh, I don't do all these videos, but they but they are very good, and uh, they give you lots of different scenarios.